Hey everyone, um, I'm getting situated, but I wanted to just do a very quick tutorial on my eyeshadow. I've already done the rest of my face, but um, I wanted to show how to do how I do my eyeshadow since we're all in this quarantine <laughs> and we can't really leave our house. I still love to do my hair and makeup, so I'm going to continue to do that. I have a mirror over here that I'm going to be using. Um, and don't mind my voice. I do not have COVID. I do, however, have allergies. So, really bad time to have allergies, but it's fine. We're going to get through it. Anyway, so I wanted to show how I do my eyeshadow using the Tati Beauty Volume 1 textured neutrals palette that is a lot to say but um i'm going to open it and there's a mirror right there if you can't tell but this is what it looks like i always use all of them um because she has glitter metallic sequin and matte so i'm just going to show you what i do and maybe you'll get a kick out of it maybe you'll make fun of me who knows <laughs> hopefully not but i just want to to do this because I kind of was bored and I was like, hey, a lot of people tell me they like my eyeshadow, so we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to take my hat off, which by the way, that hat came from um, Target. Figure out, ow, if I should pull my hair back or just kind of put it behind my ear. Um, it's a rat's nest today. So, um, we're just going to play by the rules. Okay, that'll do. That's why I'm also wearing a hat. Okay, so I brought my stuff in here. Um, I also have this Tarte palette, but I just use it for the mirror. So, um, I'll be using that just so I can see up close because... I mean, this is okay, but, like, I like to, like, actually see what I'm doing in my crease. Okay, so, like I said, I've already done everything but my eyes. And the first thing I do is prep it. I usually use concealer, and I just use my sponge and go over it. So, we already did that. And then the next thing I do is take my transition shade. So, I got these as a gift. Um, they are no brand. They just look like mermaids, and I love mermaids. And they were given to me from my Secret Santa, and they are some of the best blending brushes in the world. They really need to be clean, but I love them, so that's what I'm going to be using today on my eyes. I'm also going to use my finger because for some of the glitters, um, it doesn't stay really with a brush, so yeah. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go in with the transition shade. It's called Soothe. It's right there. Um, there's cat hair on this. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. And then I tap the excess. You can see it come off. I tap the excess off just so I don't have a lot of fallout on my eyes. And then what I do with my transition shade is just put it in my crease like this. And I always go back and forth um, like a windshield wiper or, or you can go in circular motions to put it on. But the first thing, oh, just got in my eye. The first thing that I pretty much learned when I was learning how to do my eyeshadow is blending is so important. <laughs> It just makes the biggest difference in the world. It doesn't look blotchy. Blend. Pretty much just blend. So I got some more. And I'm going to tap it off. And then I'm going to do the other eye. Just in my crease. Which I put a little more on my brush that time. So. I'll probably, sorry, I keep having to wiggle my mouse because I don't want my computer to go to sleep. So, 
we're just going to blend it out and make it look really even on both sides of my eyes. Eyeshadow is what really takes the longest because of how much you have to blend. It's a little ridiculous. Okay. I'm so peculiar about it too. <laughs> oh well, that's just right. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade to put on my um, the outer corner of my eye because I really like to do like smoky drawn out eyes so um, I'm gonna go in with this ritual right here and I'm gonna get as little as I can not very much but just a little bit and I'm gonna tap it off and then you'll be able to see the difference when I put it in my crease I mean in my outer corner, sorry. This is my first time really doing this, so you just have to bear with me. And I just smoke it out. But look at that. Haha. <laughs> yes. It just totally like so I have brown eyes. And they are the most ugly eyes, or the ugliest color for eyes that you can ever have. But I do have a lot of fun with neutral colors on my eyes because it really brightens them and brings them out and makes them pop a little bit more than, say, if I had blue eyes and I would literally not even need to put any makeup on. Whoops, I almost grabbed that. Other eye. I'm so quiet in my house right now. My husband's playing golf even though he's not supposed to, but today's his best friend's birthday, so at least they're outside. Oh, yes. And it's just so, like, it's such a subtle difference. I need some more of my red eye. But, like, it just totally makes your eyes absolutely pop. Absolutely. I'm jiggling on that. <laughs> anyway, what have y'all been doing while you've been at home? I've been cleaning a lot more, which is really good. And I've also been watching Good Morning America, and they make me laugh and smile every single day. So, shout out to all of them. Because I'm working from home, so I just turn it on in the morning. Okay. I'm going to look at my big mirror here. Just make sure that we're all blended. Seriously, Jaclyn Hill, one of my favorites, she used to always say blend until your fingers bleed. Because if you don't, then it's just going to look so choppy. Okay, and also what you can do is without really any on your brush, sorry, I know that's annoying, you can kind of blow it out a little bit on your lower lid just to bring it down. I don't do it a lot because I feel like it makes me look a little dead, but it does bring it, it pulls it out a little more. You can tell, yeah. If I did any more, then it would pretty much look kind of, I would look like a zombie, like The Walking Dead. But... That's just how I feel about when I put it on. Okay. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead. And I did not grab it. So I will be right back. My lower lid um, eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, eyeliner. I forgot to grab it. Dang on it. Thought I had everything. Okay. I'll be right back. Oh well, that begs. Hi, Betty. Okay, so let's jiggle this mouse again. It was a workout. Whew. I need a workout. Okay, so I just used the um, 
the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Pencil Perfect Self-Sharpening self Eyeliner. And I really just put it on the outer, kind of where I blew out that under eye line. I'm just going to kind of put it in the corner a little bit just to give me some dimension. Haha, -ha. hello. And it's a little, um, not very messy right now. So what I do is I take my finger and I just kind of, oh, I kind of mess it up a little bit because I hate it looking like it's fresh. So I kind of just blow it out. There we go. It, it looks very weird right now because I don't have any eyeliner on the top, but I'm about to put some on. So don't worry. Okay. So now for my third shade, in my um, inner corner and on my lid, I'm going to go in with a metallic color from this palette. So here's the palette. I used Soothe and I used Ritual. And now I'm going to go in with Soothe's metallic color, which is this one right here. It doesn't look like much, but it'll really, it'll really pop and bring a difference when you put that glitter on. Okay, so... This is when I start using my finger because my brushes just don't do it. So I'm going to put it all in my inner corner. Bring it out to the lid. Put it all over. See? And then I'm going to do the other side. And y'all, this palette is everything. Um, Tati did such a good job. They blend so well. They they just, oh my gosh. And the colors are just so good because they're really for anyone. Sorry, y'all, I'm blending. But I'm really just like stamping it on there. Um, And some kind of gets in the crease a little bit, which is fine. I kind of just rub it out a little bit <laughs> um they blend so well and they stay and they're just like oh so wonderful and i don't have a napkin over here so I have to wash my hands <laughs> okay so now that i did that i'm gonna go back in with my transition shade which is soothe and i'm gonna go back in with my brush and i'm just gonna take a little bit and blend out that crease again with that metallic color just to blend it. And you can't really tell on the camera, but it makes a, a huge difference when you blend it out because it just makes it look more seamless instead of choppy. Which is what the point of blending is, you know? So when you blend out that crease, I'm just doing circular motions. I really need to get my eyebrows done and my hair, honestly, but we stuck at home. Okay. I use the, for my top eyelid, mm. eyeliner. Why do I not know what these things are? I use them every day. I use Tarte Man Eater. It only comes in the travel size now, but I have like four of them. And hopefully they just keep making them in the travel size because they're my favorite. If you open it, it looks like this. So it's just liquid eyeliner. And I, like I did kind of my under eyes, I kind of just round out my eyes. I do not do like a cat eye because I can't. Or a wing. There we go. Because I'm just terrible at it. I have a mirror down here. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me jiggle my mouse first. <laughs> mm. Okay.
There you go. Okay, perfect. There we go. <clears throat> so I kind of just round it out and give it some color. Um, as you can see, I don't really do anything special. I just like it to look big. And once I put mascara on, it'll look a lot better. Um, okay, so the reason I put that on first, even though I'm not done with my eyes, is because I'm about to put glitter on from this palette. And it gets everywhere. And I just want to go ahead and get things. I just want it already on because I don't want to get glitter caked all on my eyeliner and stuff like that. So. Just waiting for it to dry. Okay. Now we've done that. Now's the time we put glitter on. And the glitter shades are on the top right here. And I always go in with this rosy gold looking one. Because I like pink. And it kind of brings out the neutral in my lip shade. So I just grab a little bit. Oh. Look. <laughs> That is so pretty. Oh, that was literally me doing that once. So I'm going to put it exactly where I put the metallic shade. <laughs> it looks so bad in the camera. It's really not that bad. It's actually beautiful. Look at that. Mm. And I got some right here, so I'm going to have to wipe that off. Okay, next time. Mm. I just can't get over this. That's gorgeous. I'm sure I don't have as much fallout as I will. With glitter, you will always have fallout. There's no mistaking it. And Tati really said not to put this on your eyes. But I don't listen very well. Obviously. Otherwise, where would I put it? On my nose? No. So I kind of just get the corner. And like, there's so much fallout. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But, um, I don't have a brush out here and I'm not running back there again, so I'm just kind of putting it on my sweater. Regardless of, like, your glitter, you're going to have fallout with glitter. It's just inevitable. As long as you don't, like, have it all over your face, like, it's just, it's going to be there. Okay. And last thing I do is take another, my transition shade again, and we're going to blend one more time just to make sure there are no fine lines and creases where the glitter is. And I try not to get any glitter. I went dark. I try not to get any glitter on my brush. I kind of do the outer skirt just a little bit. Just to make sure but there we have it so now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put my mascara on which is man eater from Tarte again I love this collection so much and then I use urban decay spray and that will complete my look so just let me do that and I'll wiggle my lips Also, I just love mermaids. Like, it's a mermaid. <laughs> and it's also from Tarte. It's so old, I need another one. But I just can't get rid of it. Okay. Also, I'm not very good at putting lashes on. I've worn them maybe twice in my life, once being on my wedding day. Plus, I'm not going anywhere right now, so there's really no need. Unless I want to practice. 
That's something I can do during quarantine. Okay. So no matter what, no matter what you've heard, no matter what you possibly believe, always, always, always put mascara on your lower lash line. Especially if you have eyeliner. on your lower lash line because it will look terrible if you don't. Okay, now I'm gonna spray my face. I didn't really need to do that because I'm not going anywhere, but it helps my makeup stay on all day. All day long. All right, so let me put my hat back on. Unclip my hair. Get it all ready. It's a way too extra to be hanging around the house, but okay, I had trouble with this last time. All right, there you have it. There is the final look, if you can tell. Thanks for watching. I'm not sure if anybody will. I just thought I'd give it a go because I always watch people do these things and I love it. So. Anyway, I hope everybody stays safe and stays well, and I just hope we can all get through this together. Thanks, Banks. He heard a car horn, and now he's barking like he's the man of the neighborhood. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll be back. Maybe not. Maybe we can go back to work now. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.